Well, I usually wouldn't put another one on so quickly, but right after I uploaded that last studio update, I changed them a lot. There was something wrong. And I remember I was talking to one of the students at school yesterday about doing abstract pictures, uh, working in a series, which is the way I find it best for me to, to work on more than one piece at a time so that I'm not expecting one work to carry the full weight of the kind of changes I want to make. And I think I also remember saying that if I'm stuck doing one way of working to try to identify what the opposite is and then do that. And so since I had been putting on a lot of color, I mixed up a black, a very runny black. And first I took a smaller brush and threw paint in a splattering method because that represented a lack of control and then I let the stuff drip but I needed to have a lack of control over the surface and so that's where the splatters came from here and the guest that I had in my studio at the time who was my daughter who was helping me with the video told me that I should be careful because I have some older finished paintings here and I said, that's okay, because my way of thinking is as long as it's in here, if it gets some paint on it, maybe I need to work on it some more. But getting back to this, um, there's like a, a lot of new marks, like these choppy marks with a color that I mixed up after I put that last video on. But then what I just finished doing is I took the black and I thought about putting on a dark area and then scrubbing light over it in a kind of um, reversal of the white ground with the color on and so that's what I'm doing now and I really like the contrast that the black tempera mixed with water brings to it and also a kind of transparent quality over some of the pre-existing layers. And then I also like in this one especially, I'm beginning to like some more than others. I really like, say maybe these two. And I thought, you know, this is kind of deja vu. And then I realized that this painting here, which is much older, has a lot of that same kind of quality. Well, that one's in oil, and these are all water media. But that shouldn't make a difference because it's the color choices, value choices, and the um, choices made in the application of the different kinds of paint, which should be uh, the dominant kinds of forces. Whatever paint you use, whether it's um, oil, or acrylic and tempera as these are, or in caustic. You can acknowledge the different types of paint because they all have their own qualities. But then there is the overriding quality, which is the hand of the artist. And what I enjoy and what I keep returning to is a need to have on one viewing distance, all of these colors and elements in a layer, in layers, and then from a distance, a kind of visual bombacity, that, which is what I require in an abstract picture. I also talked about to this student yesterday how I need to go to nature for the sources of my abstraction. 
And even though these do not look like the funnel cloud of the tornado, I try to imagine the, oh, the busyness and the variety of things that may be caught up in a storm. That's what helps me. Now I'm waiting for these to dry. Um, it's pretty thin, so it'll dry quickly. I've got a fan on. But I'm just going back and forth and looking at the different layers. And I really enjoy that. Like these marks, the curly cues, the drips underneath, the drips on top, the contrast of complements, contrast of values, um, the way in which some marks are controlled and the way in which other marks are not. And so that's where I am now. And if I make another big change before I leave the studio today, I'll put that on too. But I'm just having a great deal of fun. Oh, these are some new ones in the corner. Um, whipping the brush back and forth. So if I have some big changes, I will put them on. I'm going to be here for probably another two hours. We'll see what happens.